So in this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to use a wait for input, uh, monitoring an input in the background thread so that you can stop your motion at a given point and wait for somebody to reset the cell uh, by pressing a different input. For the simulator, I'm going to use two outputs, DO0 for the I want you to wait and DO4, meaning I'm ready for you to reset and continue motion. So let's get started. So I'm taking a simple program here that's already got a couple of moves in it. I'm just going to add a before start section, and in that section I'm going to add a assignment. I'm going to rename that to the wait here flag. And then I'm going to set that flag to false, so that when we first start we don't want it to wait. Okay. Then I'm going to add a wait for the variable wait here flag, so that we'll do our motion then we'll wait for the flag. Then I'm going to choose my robot program and go ahead and add a thread. In that thread, I'm going to do an if statement. And here I would normally say wait for input, so if input. But because we're in the simulator, I'm going to say if output. And I'm going to choose my di digital out zero. That would be my I want you to wait, so I'm going to add an assignment here. And that assignment will say, hey, wait here flag is now true. I'm going to add an else if. And that else if will also check to, to reset our flag in the same thread. So here we're adding the else if. And this will let you basically set the flag with one button and then reset the flag with a different button. And here I'm just going to choose an output so that we can run it in the simulator. I'll copy my assignment. And then change the condition to be false. I'm going to add a sync first. Um, that makes sure that our thread doesn't fault out. Then I'm going to add to the before start a uh, variable. I'm going to assign it the current tool position. That way we can just move to the current variable tool position and we'll be able to start our program without having to hold the auto button down at the very beginning. And then I'll just add a move here. and we'll move to the waypoint called variable one. Okay, now we can press play. And you're gonna see we move, we're gonna hit the wait flag, and oh, I've got a mistake in here. So let me uh, stop the program real quick. We're going to add an if statement. And basically we're gonna say if wait here flag, so if you want us to wait, then we'll wait for the wait here flag to go false. I could have also just changed my logic in the wait flag to be not wait here flag or wait here flag equals false and that way it would just blow past the wait. But either way works. So I'm going to copy my wait command. I'm going to change the logic that it's using to be not. So I can say not a variable or I can say variable equals false. Okay, so I think we're ready to run it again. You're going to see the robots moving between the two waypoints. I have my robot program set to loop indefinitely, and so you'll see our robots moving up and down. Exactly what we want to do. And then we're going to jump over to the I.O. screen. And we're going to go ahead and set that digital zero false, or digital zero output on and you'll see that we're now sitting there waiting. I did just turn the variable, the output on and off. Um, so you can see we caught it. In the background thread, I also turn off DO4. So now you can see we're back moving. So we'll go back to the output, we'll try it again. You can see I turned it on and off very quickly so to simulate a button push. And then I'll simulate another button reset. And that's all it takes to add a thread to a program to make it uh, monitor an input or an output and then do logic within the program to make it however you want it to be. Thanks.